Hi everyone, reintroducing some old makeup favourites back into the fold today. I was clearing out my office because my sister-in-law was here over the Easter weekend and just getting rid of a load of stuff that I haven't used or I won't use and along the way I found quite a lot of bits and pieces. I thought, oh, those are gorgeous. Why are they not in the house with my, you know, normal everyday makeup stuff? So I thought I'd show you what I've picked out and put it on at the same time. Bit of fun on a Sunday, what do you think? If you're watching this the day it goes up, then happy Easter. You can see that I have two uh, chocolate induced <laughs> spots on my cheek, so that's fun. I don't know whether it's mini magnums or um, Easter egg. So first thing, by Terry Cover Expert Foundation. Uh, if you've been watching me for a long time, you'll know that I was just obsessed with this, I wore it religiously. It's very expensive, however, since this was first one of my favourites, um, first of all foundations have got a lot more expensive and secondly they've been introducing these sort of super premium foundations like the Chanel Sublimage uh, and the... Who else did one? Creme de la Mer, they did a really expensive foundation. So if this is as good as I remember it, it will actually, I mean, it won't be cheap, but it will be a lot more um, acceptable. No, I don't know. Oh, it smells so nice. I know that shouldn't matter, but it really does. <laughs> so this is a sort of medium coverage, I would say, foundation, but it's got a sort of stretchy bounciness to it, which is really unusual. And that's why I used to like it so much. This is a lot more matte than I remember, actually. But you know what? It gives really nice coverage, but still looks quite natural. If you had a lot of fine lines or incredibly dry skin, this wouldn't be the one for you. Um. Hi! I won't be long. Now I have to say that is lovely. A little bit more matte than I remember. However, I don't think that I do like it as much as the Chanel Perfection Lumiere Velvet, which is probably why this one got um, shelved in favour of that one, which is also slightly cheaper. Maybe it is. I mean, it is a beautiful finish on that. Really, really gorgeous. Coverage is good, but it doesn't look cakey or thick. I mean, it's really beautiful. So, yeah. I can understand why it was a very firm favourite of mine. Let's have a little look at my other things. So I've got the Body Shop Honey Bronzer in shade one, which is really, really good for fair skin. I used to use this loads. Just gives a really nice, healthy glow. This is a great one, because it's quite hard to find natural looking bronzers. I must feature this again, I think. Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion, anti-aging version. This, I remember, is really, really good for filling out crinkly eyelids. So if you've got sort of any bagginess or anything on them, um, making them really, really smooth for eyeshadow. I don't know whether you've noticed, but I've had my brows tinted. Can you see? Best thing ever. I don't know where you, where you go to get it done. I had um, the lovely people from Benefit actually visited my house in their pink brow mobile and sorted my brows out which was amazing because I can't really get many places at the moment with toddler and a baby and it's made such a difference to my face so I'm a convert and I should be getting my brows tinted on a regular basis so really good um, smoothing base for the eyeshadow like that a lot annoying top find these tops, I don't know whether they package it like that anymore actually. I mean, some of these things might not be available anymore, I'll have to check. And then I'm just gonna do a quick bit of shadow with this palette, it's the Becca Nude Eye Palette. And if you look, they're just all really flat brown shades. I'm going for the middle one and just wash it across the lid. Because you know what? I've been doing shimmer for ages now. I'm not sure that sometimes it's that flattering, really. But look, this is a really, really handy palette. 
two very sort of pale brightening shades. You just want a wash of something brightening over the lid. And when it's matte like this, the good thing is it's quite, it can be quite undetectable. So it can look very much like it's your natural colouring. Um, and you can do a smokyish eye without looking like you've worn a lot of makeup because it's not shimmery. It doesn't really draw lots of attention to it. Um, but it still looks like you have it on. I'm just going to go with a slightly darker shade. Just in these outer corners, but only a tiny bit. And they all blend together really well. And then I'm just going to whack on some mascara. I said the other day my favourites about um, Chanel Volume de Chanel. And this one's not that old, obviously, because I'd not be using it. But um, I do think it is such a good mascara. Just find that the type of brush that they use works really well for me. And the formula is just the right amount of sticky, claggy. Right, I am aware that I have that all over my eyelids, so I shall clean that up before the end. But for the moment, let's get on with my last. Oh no, I've got something else for my base. Charlotte Tilbury Retoucher, which is like Touche Claire and concealer combined. So it's a nice sort of brightener for under the eyes. That is so matte, that Cover Expert foundation. So if you're looking for a good matte, um, Chanel have brought out a new matte foundation, which I don't actually like nearly as much as this. So if you're looking for a matte finish, but it's not uncomfortable on the skin, it's not drying, then this one is, is good. My God, how much difference does that retoucher make? That's great, isn't it? One last thing, because I can hear my baby screaming in the background. Um, Rouge Coco Shine, haven't used this in ages. It's in Flirt, and I don't know whether they make this anymore, but look, it's like a really jazzy, um, pearlescent, peachy orange. Brilliant for the summer. Quite nice, bright, orangey one, but easy to wear for the summer. Yes, yeah, so that's 69 Flirt. True story, I just got up to find a cotton bud to sort my eye out. My right leg had completely gone to sleep. I fell over and almost fell straight through the window, and we've got full length windows all around the house. It was really close. And I still have no feeling in my foot because I had it crossed underneath me. Anyway, uh, I'm going to stop witching on and go and eat some more chocolate probably. Um, hope that you enjoyed that. I have a load of lipsticks that I've shopped from my stash. I uh, hate myself for even using that phrase. And I thought I might do a separate video on those if you're interested. There are a few quite good ones, I think. So, and some classics. So let me know if you'd like that. I need to do another lipstick video anyway. If you would be so kind to subscribe, then the button is underneath the video. Uh, make sure you check out my last couple of them. I'm going to put those on the screen now somewhere there. And go and eat some more chocolate. And I shall see you next time.